All right, so yesterday the Chicago Sky played the Mercury and um, they they got blown out. Sydney Carter didn't play. Angel Reese didn't play like as good as she's known to play. And today the Mercury played the Fever and Caitlin Clark had the game of her life. <laughs> um, very, very entertaining, fun to watch. Caitlin Clark has moved from the rookie of the year to Bay with Angel Reese and to MVP talks. I don't think she'll get MVP, but she's in the race. You know what I'm saying? Like she's actually in the race. Yeah, she's on a historical run. Broke another record today. So it says Caitlin Clark broke Diana Teresi's record for most 25 five and five games as a rookie against diana teresi some of caitlin clark's uh comments at the game i'm gonna play the clip i called for a sub six minutes in <laughs> I, mean, I, I was like holy cow i think it was like around seven minutes in i called for a sub i was like i need you're playing fast and like you know that my defense isn't as good so it's kind of a liability for my team so just gotta get a second to breathe so um but yeah i mean getting back in game shape has been I think pretty easy. I mean, we've been competing really hard in practice and playing versus our guys live. We've had refs come in basically, I think, five set different times, and we've been playing live. We've just been scrimmaging, and that's the best way to stay in basketball shape is just play live basketball, but obviously it's going to be really hard to replicate a real game. So it felt good to get back out there. Sometimes, you know, passion, having passion for the game. You know, some some moments can just, you know, spike your team up to, you know, go and play well. And, you know, I had a moment myself with T Cloud, and, you know, Ass off to her for being a competitor, but I think it kind of helped us, you know, the grit and the game in those third quarters. And when teams make runs, it's how you win the game in the WBA. You gotta be gritty, you gotta be able to get trenchy a little bit. Doesn't mean Angelie's not a good player. She's just not rookie of the year. I know like something came out. Like people, I didn't realize people really do hate Angelie. It's kind of crazy, bro. Like I saw this tweet. Yeah, someone said you can't make this stuff up, man. No basketball player ever again, man or woman, without the name Angelie, will be celebrated for absolute mediocrity. Sixteen for fifty-four from inside ten feet in the last four four games. This is oh, I'm not gonna lie. This is od crazy. <laughs> This this is crazy though. About twenty dollars percent is federal. Somebody made a eight minute clip. This was for eight minutes. You know how much you gotta hate somebody to make a eight minute clip of their misses. Eight minute clip, bro. Now there are people who support her, right? Like you got um it's very on viral, right? So basically these kids were asked about the rookie of the year debate, and this is what they said. Who's winning the rookie of the year in the WNBA? Angel Reese or Caitlin Clark? Caitlin Clark, because I think because she's impacting her team a lot. I personally think that Angel Reese. Because because first of all, Caitlin Clark to me is overrated. Dude, effort, like she has effort in every game. Angel Reese be on them boards now. She rebound, that's crazy. I say Angel Reese. Why? Cause her style line is just better. Like she's doing a lot more on everything. Hey, Caitlin just broke the assist record, man. She's doing crazy stuff. But Angel Reese got the triple double. They're neck and neck though, right? It's, it's not. I'd say it's pretty close, but i say Angel Reese. Angel Reese has never got a triple double, but just be honest, man. I, I just don't like people who just aren't honest, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, they're both great players. We really got to stop this rookie year debate nonsense. This is like her comments prior to the game. I definitely feel more, more fresh and prepared and whatever it is, but I think, you know, still understanding that this league is very difficult and kind of getting back into the routine of things. I mean, I felt like we were playing good basketball right before the break, and especially myself, I felt like I was starting to get in the groove. So it was like kind of a weird thing of like, I wanted to kind of keep playing. Like I felt like we were kind of finding to start our, find our flow together and me, myself, and then you go on a month long break and it's like, ah, you don't get to play for a month. So I think there's definitely a balance of it. And I feel like we've been itching to get back out on the court, especially over the course of the last week. It's like, we've been ready for it. And um, now you guys just gotta come out and, and show the work that you've put in. And, you know, some games are going to be great. Some games aren't going to be great. That's just how this league works. It's going to be taking it one game at a time. And I thought that's what we did really well there over the course of the last two weeks before the break. Is like we only went going one game at a time. And I think that helped us have more success, honestly. Those are comments before the game. Now, I just got to say, it's just dope to see all the rounds. I just like seeing the growth of the sport, you know, to be honest. They even got, like, uh, people debating over the 2K ratings. To anyone who plays uh, NBA 2K still, I don't play 2K. I'll be on Madden more than 2K now. But the ratings for the WNBA just came out. People don't feel like Angel Reese should be a 90. Look at these comments. AR doesn't deserve that overall. I love Angel, but ain't no way they the same rating. Only stat Angel Reese has a 90 in his rebound. No way, Angel. Like, they're just on her head. You know what I'm saying? Like, she deal with a lot of hate. I'm going to play the... Uh, highlights from tonight's game after the highlights i'm gonna play the little eight minute clip these are the highlights just got a thousand back inside they're looking better each game too bro here is clark oh she pulled oh damn i didn't see that clip physically demanding so it is extremely difficult just one not only physically but also earning her first you can imagine oh my gosh come here 
Yo, when she adds the midi, bro, she might average a triple double next year, bro. Really get out and transition. Water. Get some fairly quick buckets. Here's Mitchell all behind the first really eight seven here bro. in the third quarter. Oh, come here. Clark's yes. Gonna need two. Oh, Fort Clark. Does Clark see the clock? Hand off Samuelson. Clark off the screen. Yes. Some space. Get on to the playoffs. Clark seeing two. Bounces. Oh, beautiful. Bro. Clark. Cheat, yo. I'll try to tell y'all, bro. Just give her some rest. When she gets back out there, I feel bad for whoever Clark played him. Here is Mitchell. He gets the step on Cunningham. Clark gets to Smith. Clark. Good pass. It's Mitchell. Let's watch this. All right, so Andrew, this is the this is the video, the eight minute ship. Angel Reese has had a fairly impressive rookie season, but there's still a lot of room for improvement in her game, especially in her ability to finish around the basket. Fans are seriously questioning her basketball fundamentals as she has an atrocious ability to finish around the basket with efficiency. She is shooting a horrific 40.2% from the field, and is even shooting below 50% on shots less than 5 feet from the basket, and is shooting a terrible 13% on shots 5 to 9 feet from the basket. What the fuck? Nah, this is OD hate, bro. These layup attempts are really bad. And a lot of these layup attempts aren't even hitting the rim and she's within three feet of the basket. And it's not something that has happened once. It has happened multiple times. 13 instances to be exact in this video alone. So let's get into it. First game of her career, Angel Reese in the Chicago Sky took on the Dallas Bruh, You know niggas hate you when they're, when they're dissecting your failures game by game. You know you really piss some people off. And everyone was anxious to see what Reese was capable of. But it didn't take long for Reese to show her lack of finishing ability. DallasWings.com <laughs> to learn more. Beautiful dish inside. No, Suarez can't come up with it. Look at this. A wide open look and the shot didn't even touch the rim. Maybe the nerves were kicking in in such an important game of her young career, but I don't think there are many professional basketball players capable of shooting so poorly in such a situation. But unfortunately, it was not the only low light in that game. In the fourth quarter, Angel catches the ball at the top of the key and attacks the rim, but it looks like she forgot to jump at the end. It's me. <laughs> she said she forgot to jump. A little head fake, Reese, flick of the wrist. Air ball again, no, McCowan takes it away, still loose. Look at how she decides to finish the play. A brick layup and then catches her own rebound and hits the bottom of the rim. Angel has been missing layups like this all season long, and it's the main reason why her field goal percentage is as low as it is despite playing close to the rim. Another example, this time against the Las Vegas Aces. The Sky do a good job on defense and get out in transition. Kennedy Carter does a good job also finding Reese, but she misses a wide open layup again. And Reese breaking up that pass. Kennedy Carter feeds Angel Reese. Can't finish. I know there are tens of thousands of women who don't play pro basketball who would have made that layup. Where Reese does something completely inexplicable. Give me the rock because this is my time. Enrique's got 18. Off the glass, no. Reese the <laughs> rebound, Maddie Segrist got a piece of it. She grabs the offensive rebound like the great rebounder she is, but then tries to do a reverse layup like Kyrie. I'm not like Kyrie, great, bro. Don't ever dis- Whoever the fuck made this video, don't ever disrespect Kyrie Irving like that, nigga. <laughs> that nigga said like Kyrie. That was not like Kyrie, bro. Don't ever in life disrespect my dog like that. Don't do that. Her problem with finishing in the paint has gotten so bad that fans are accusing her of missing on purpose. No, no, I'm not exaggerating. Angel Reese broke the record for the most consecutive double-doubles in WNBA history, but fans believe she's grabbing her own rebounds on purpose to stat pad. And I know it sounds absolutely ridiculous, but I mean, some of these layup attempts are just horrible. 
Take this example, which is even more ridiculous, where Angel misses up to three shots in a matter of seconds against the Washington Mystics. That's crazy. Or this is her third game back from that shoulder injury. And good defense inside by Maisha Hines Allen there on Reese. That's crazy. Reese got the second attempt. Gonna try for a third one, blocked by Dolson. I didn't know it was this bad, bro. I don't think yeah. anyone doubts her ability to rebound, but those rebounds have to be useful in some way, right? Her shot selection is simply too weak. That's her problem. In the game against the stacked New York Liberty, Reese was being defended by none other than the 2023 MVP, Brianna Stewart. And well, she decided that the best option was to attack her off the dribble. Stewart plays good defense, but Angel throws up a horrific layup attempt. It's just happening way too often. Yara Sabali comes in. Here's Reese at the elbow. Trying to go through multiple defenders, Sabali hauls it down. And she really loves to try that kind of layup from the right, trying to get the ball out from underneath. But she just doesn't have that kind of move in her bag. And this poor shot selection is easy to see time and time again. In the game against the Mystics, Angel gets in good position, makes it hard for herself, then misses the shot, grabs the rebound, and goes back to trying a desperation shot instead of passing the ball. Mabry time to add to it. Got Allen on the move. On the kick to Reese. She comes middle. Does not go. Oh, Fighting for the rebound. Her four teammates have their arms up in the air at the that? same time because they don't understand how she can have such tunnel vision. <laughs> Notice <laughs> nah, this is crazy. <laughs> All of her team is calling for the ball at once. This is the girl who asked for the trade. Uh, she just had a good game today, actually. Uh, I thought post-gate comments, they fuck with her, but like they, she probably didn't even fuck with her. That's probably why she requested that trade. I thought everything was cool that she requested that trade. Now this, just look at this miss. This has to be the worst one yet. Angel grabs the offensive rebound and is wide open under the rim. She decides to try and finish in the air rather than taking her time to fall to the floor and finish the layup with ease. I mean, the defenders are watching instead of trying to do something because they think the basket is inevitable. Ten turnovers for the sky here tonight. Elizabeth Williams, Angel Reese. Oh First God. opportunity not there. But Reese misses and catches her offensive rebound. Maybe that double-double theory isn't so far off the mark. Because if it's not, what do you make of this? In the biggest game of the year against Caitlin Clark in the Indiana Fever, Angel received a spectacular entry pass that left her alone again. And she doesn't only miss the wide-open layup, but bricks it. Then she managed to catch her own rebound, pivot multiple times, and then throw up a prayer that will never go in. Indiana's lost to oh, went four for six from three in the game. But it doesn't end there. Again, in that game against the Indiana Fever and Caitlin Clark, Reese had another catastrophic miss. And this one might be the worst in the video. She does the right thing by running right to the opposing block and receives a pass where she receives the most wide open layup opportunity I've maybe ever seen, and then completely whiffed it. For Clark, you're, you're, you're more used to be on the floor, is probably what she said. Reese can't get it. The two most concerning parts about Angel is that she's showing an inability that even middle school basketball players have. She cannot finish with both hands, and she simply has zero touch around the basket. Finally, in this game against the Sparks, this layup took the prize for the worst missed layup I have ever seen. After a spectacular off-ball screen, the defenders don't switch and Angel gets a completely wide-open layup attempt underneath the basket only to miss the easiest shot of the whole season. All right, a, a set play here. Let's see who gets their number call. That was a good play, too. Even with this, let me repeat it. Angel's contribution to the Chicago Sky is important. In fact, she's above average and almost... Ah, uh, they'll start this shit. After cooking her ass, now you got to add in the... Oh, but her... Come on, bro. Stand on business, my boy. That line. Her net rating is plus 7 points per 100 possessions. Her PER is 19.3. Her win traveled. shares on both offense and defense look good, but for some reason, she is not nearly as efficient as she could be. Now, Reese is a rookie, and she has her whole career ahead of her to improve her touch under the rim. But these missed layup attempts are areas of her game she needs to work on.
But what are your thoughts? Are we being a little too harsh on Angel Reese and her missed layups, or is it completely valid to criticize her finishing ability around the rim? Let us know in the comments below. I wouldn't even call him a hater because he came with the facts, but y'all quote all the Angel Reese, bro. She don't deserve that much hate, bro. Regardless, man, I love how both of them are growing the game, which is dope. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on everything. And um, as always, it's your boy.